Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Hansley Jones. Welcome to h Nate Success Academy for business tips, inspiration and to be a better you. This episode we'll be speaking about a really good place that can actually play and the rest of people are just there to make up the numbers or you know they're trying their best and actually learning the game. You can actually win a game and get the results you want just by having the basics and having you know, solid solidarity around you. But when I'm talking about results, when I'm talking about discipline and consistency to get the real results for longevity, that's what I'm on about. And that's what I'm talking about. And that's what this episode is about. When it comes to discipline, you know, you have to actually learn your craft and put in the work and do whatever it takes. It may be tedious. It may be boring. Whatever it is, whether it's in business, whether it's in life, whether it's in health, whether it's in fitness, whether, whether it's your mindset even. You have to ensure that you're doing the basic things and you're doing them well. I have a saying, um, now I'm, like I said, I'm a sports coach, as many of you know from my other podcast. It's just that I believe in mastering the basics. I didn't say perfect the basics, mastering the basics. Knowing what to do day in, day out. And at any given moment, whatever event, whatever situation, you should know what to do and how to do it and how to achieve it at the most basic level. Now, we talk about basic sprint mechanics now. I talk about mastering the fundamentals of straight legs and high knees. When we speak about straight legs, the most basic thing is, is have your toes up. The reason why you have your toes up, because many people, or many athletes, I should say, come from like different backgrounds. And many athletes that I coach, they come from a vast different background, whether it's football, you know, netball, gymnastics, tumbling. And they always get told to have their toes down. Ideally, when you have your toes up, you don't really want your toes up in a dorsal flex position. You kind of want it flat footed. But when you teach them to have it up, what sometimes happens is it sometimes it actually comes down in the right position anyway. So the toes are not always curled all the way up, as we suggest, but it naturally comes down because it stiffs up and it just naturally relaxes. That's what I mean by that mastering them. And then you can think about going upwards, make sure your hips like the triple extension, your ankle, knee and hip and all in alignment, body nice and tall, arms bent, elbows going all the way back, doing your strike leaves going forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards with relaxed shoulders. Yeah, that may seem complex, but that's like the mastering the straight legs. And with that, you could do that spins of all the other jaws, such as pop-ups and straight legs and high knees, so on and so forth. Now, once you master, once you master that, Week in, week out, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, every session where it's three times a week, four times a week, and even once a week. That's what we talk about when we talk about consistency. And then eventually, you will sprint faster, as long as you're getting the right mechanics and putting in the work. <clears throat> let's come to business though, or even let's come to network marketing for an example. Now, when we're prospecting, or we're sharing the opportunity with people, and you share it with five people for 30 days if you do that for five people for 30 days you have reached out to 150 people in a month that's 150 people that you can build relationships with that you can speak with that you can possibly show the plan to whether it's mindset you know whether it's saying affirmations on a daily basis now like every time you look in the mirror you say i am beautiful i am i am special i am intelligent Every time you look into a mirror, even if you wake up in the mirror, I am beautiful, I am intelligent. I am beautiful, I am intelligent. Just doing those things on a regular basis and then you're actually putting in the actions to make yourself feel good. Whether it's fitness, like I said, whether it's eating right, to get the body, to get the image or get how you feel. Me personally, um, I'm actually, no, I'm, I'm skinny, but I think I'm, I'm slim. But mentally, in my head, I say I'm skinny. Now, when I'm going to the gym now, I'm going to the gym to put on muscle, to put on muscle mass and to put on, and to put on more mass. A bit of, mu- bit of muscle mass and a bit of weight. Now, for me, in order for that to happen, I know that I have to be going gym, minimum for me, at least three, four times a week and eating right. I might not like how I look in my body, but other people may say, oh, yeah, you look good. I, mean, you're, I, I wish I was your size. But it's, it's just my mentality, just my mindset. If I put in the work, 
be disciplined, I'm consistent, the results will come. What I'm saying is, don't focus on the result, focus on the process. Once you've mastered your disciplines and you do it on a consistent basis, the results will come. And when the results will come, the results will be much more sustainable rather than a quick fix or rather than, you know, a great triumph within a short period of time. Anything worth having is worth working for. There's no such thing as a get rich quick scheme regarding the money and regarding business. If there is such thing as a get rich quick scheme, I'm not involved. I'm not in it because anything worth having takes hard work. Even gold medalists that take drugs, they get found out in the end. Marion Jones got stripped of her medals 20 years after she won them. And because she got stripped 20 years after she won them, now she had to pretty much start again. She went bankrupt. She had to re kind of rebuild herself. It's, it's, it's traumatic. She was working hard, but she, had, she went to take shortcuts. And she never got found out for whatever reason. Maybe the drug test and the, the dope agency wasn't as well as it was as it is now. But the fact of the matter is, there's no shortcuts to success. Whether it's a gold medal, whether it's making six figures, <clears throat> or even it's just learning a new skill. Like for, at the moment, I'm learning to be a teacher. And for me, once I get that, for me, that's success. I would achieve my goal. So yeah, this episode is all about results. Keep pushing. Be the best you can be. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to listen to this H&A Success Academy podcast. For more information, please go to www.hnhtravel2success.com for more information and everything I've spoken about. And just to connect with me, and my Facebook is Hunter Jones. I look forward to speaking with you. Have a great day on purpose. Take care.